Welcome to Clinical Gap. Today we will be answering few questions related to randomization in clinical trials. These are what is randomization? How are subjects randomized? And what are different types of randomization? What is randomization? Randomization is the process of assigning patients by chance to groups that receive different treatments. No one can control or predict the result. It is used to get reliable answers to research questions. It's like flipping a coin to decide who gets to go first in the game. Same way, the study volunteers are assigned to investigational arm or to the control arm. Clinical trials aim to compare an experimental drug with already existing standard treatment available or with a placebo if no standard drug is available. Placebo is a dummy drug with no active ingredients. In the simplest trial design, there are two groups. Patient information is collected using computerized system. The system randomly assigns the individual to investigational group that receives the new treatment or to control group that receives the standard therapy or placebo. At several points during and at the end of the clinical trials, researchers compare the group to see which treatment is more effective or has fewer side effects. Randomization helps to prevent bias. Bias occurs when trial results are affected by human choices. If randomization is not used, the investigator unintentionally get a chance to give the new drug to the sicker person or the standard drug with which they have more experience. This will affect the result and researchers will never know whether one drug works better. How are subjects or patients randomized? Interactive response technology is currently in use to enroll patients into clinical trials, randomize patients, and manage study drug supplies. There are two types of IRT, the interactive voice response system and interactive web response system, IVRS. Users enter information in response to voice prompts through keypad on a phone. Whereas in IWRS, user would respond to prompt on a computer rather than over the phone. IRT can be integrated with existing systems such as clinical trial management system and electronic data capture systems. In the past, the response technology system and electronic data capture systems were separated and IRT data had to be manually uploaded to the EDC. Today's system communicate with EDC systems so there is no need for duplicate data entry or data reconciliation. What are different types of randomization? There are different forms of randomization. Some of the most common methods are simple randomization, block randomization, stratified block randomization, and dynamic randomization. Simple randomization. Simple randomization is based on a single sequence of random assignments. The basic methods of simple randomization is the flipping a coin and computer-generated sequence. If there are 50 number of subjects or patients, the treatment plans are divided equally for 25 each for control group and for treatment group. Simple randomization approach is simple and easy to implement in a clinical research. In large clinical research, simple randomization can be trusted to generate similar number of subjects among groups. However, randomization results could be problematic in relatively small sample size clinical research, resulting in an unequal number of participants among groups. Block randomization the block randomization method is designed to randomize subjects into blocks that result in equal sample sizes. The system divides patients into blocks of equal sizes, choose a block, write down all possible permutations, and randomly choose any combination. In a two-group design with treatment and control group, blocks having equal number of treatment and control are used with a block size of four for two groups. There are six possible permutations. The order of treatments with the block is randomly permuted and any block can be chosen. 
This type of randomization is used for small studies to maintain reasonably good balance among the groups. Stratified block randomization. The stratified randomization method addresses the need to control and balance the influence of covariates. This form of randomization is only important for small clinical trials. This method can be used to achieve balance among groups in terms of subject's baseline characteristics. Typical example of such factors are age group, gender, severity of condition, and treatment centers. Stratification simply means having separate block randomization schemes for each combination of characteristics. For example, in a study where you expect treatment effect to differ with gender and a presence of pain or no pain, participants are stratified based on the gender. Further, they are stratified based on presence of pain. Dynamic randomization. Dynamic randomization methods allocate patients to treatment group by checking the allocation of similar patients already randomized. Biased coin randomization and minimization are two such methods. The first participant is allocated a treatment at random or is truly randomized. With minimization and biased coin methods, the next participant enrolled in the trial depends on the characteristics of those participants already enrolled. Different colors represent multiple factors. The next participant enrolled in the trial depends on the characteristics of those participants already enrolled. The aim is that each allocation should minimize the imbalance across multiple factors. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. For any queries, please mail at clinicalgyan at gmail.com. Thank you.